In this first lesson in the Learn Drupal series, we're going to be looking at how to install Drupal locally on your own computer rather than having to deal with a web server that's out on the web. This is particularly important when working with development versions of code because you may be introducing security vulnerabilities and you don't want people necessarily getting into those on the web. It's also just a lot easier to work on your own local computer and do all the things you have to do whether you're online or off. So what we're going to be doing is looking at how to get a local web server set up that you can run your websites on, and then we'll be downloading and installing Drupal 8. In this video, we'll be looking at the Drupal ladder on learndrupal.org. And if we scroll down here and look at the very first step down at the bottom of the ladder, it's to install Drupal locally. When we click through there, you're going to see there are three steps that are involved in this lesson. Install the dev desktop, download Drupal 8, and then launch Drupal 8 on our dev desktop. This is going to get a, a local version of Drupal running. In order to install Drupal locally, we also need to have a web server on our local computer. There are many ways to achieve this, but in this video we're going to be using the Dev Desktop. You can find Dev Desktop at acquia.com under their free download section. Once you get there, we're going to download the Drupal 7 version. Pick the operating system you're on. I'm on a Mac, so I'll go ahead and click the download button for the Mac version. It's going to pop up a dialog asking for some info, but I can click this link down here that says, no thanks, just take me to the download. And I'm going to go ahead and download that to my desktop. It might take you a few minutes. So once you've downloaded it, go to where you downloaded I put it on my desktop. You'll notice this is a DMG. On Windows it would be an EXE. You're going to install it just like any other application in your operating system. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through the, the normal steps, uh, run the installer here, and uh, it's gonna, this will open up and start an ins installation wizard for us to kind of walk through. So we work our way through the installer. First it's going to let me know what I'm installing, which is always a good thing to know. So we can see all that. Uh, license agreement. Uh, locations. Uh, where does the dev desktop actually live? That's in my applications folder. And then all of my sites, the site it's going to build and any other sites I want are going to be in my sites folder, which again is typical. But you can set those wherever you want. Ports, I would recommend you leave these alone so that you don't accidentally conflict with other Apache and MySQL uh, stuff that could be running on your system, like MAMP. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill in uh, basic Drupal settings for my first Drupal site, which it's going to go ahead and, and build for me. Um, review, and then we'll click Next, uh, and it's going to begin the installation. This is going to take a while, so you probably want to go grab a cup of coffee and then, you know, come back to it. Um, as this finishes up, uh, it's going to run through its cleanup here, and then I launch the new dev desktop. It's all good and well. We now have dev desktop, so we have a local web server with some Drupal, but we have Drupal 7. We need to get Drupal 8. So let's go back to our lesson, and if I click the uh, link for download Drupal 8 on this one, you'll see that we have a link that takes us directly to where we need to be, which is pretty handy. Um, and uh, so this is releases for Drupal core, and I can select the 8x API version, and then I'll get 8x dev, uh, the development version for Drupal 8 that we want to play with. Um, I'll also show you how you can do this without using that direct link, though. It's handy, but you may not have that. If I go to download and extend, you'll see this is for Drupal 7, but we just want Drupal 8, so I'm going to go to Drupal core directly so I can get sort of the full list. And under here, again, there's only 7 and 6, but if I go down to this link underneath that says View All Releases, that's where I can get the latest development work. Uh, and this takes me back to that same screen. I say I want version 8, uh, and then you can see I have Drupal 8 X Dev, which is exactly what we want for helping on Core. Uh, download Zip or Tarball, whichever you want. Um, so I'm going to click this and download it. I'm going to go ahead and save it into my sites directory. You'll see that's where the, the initial Acquia Drupal site was put, but uh, the rest of my sites are here as well. So I'm going to save it directly into that directory. And once I have that downloaded, go back to sites here, uh, and then I'm going to unzip that so that I can uh, get my Drupal goodness. That creates a folder called Drupal 8 dev. You can see this is uh, Drupal core. Its files look different. 
And I can also uh, rename this folder to anything I want, just for convenience sake. So I'm just going to name this Drupal 8, uh, but you can name it whatever you want to. Okay, so now on to our final step for this lesson, which is to actually get our new Drupal 8 site that we just downloaded running on our dev desktop. We're going to start off by launching the Acquia dev desktop, get that running, and you'll see we have a settings button here. So there's some standard settings stuff in terms of how you want to use it and ports, but the important stuff that we need to do is, uh, first of all, we need to change our PHP version. 5.3 is required for Drupal 8. So we need to make sure that we change that or our Drupal 8 site's not gonna work right. So let's apply those settings before we proceed. It restarts things, everything looks good. So now I'll go back into here and actually set up my site. And you'll notice that the original uh, site that we had set up here is now on 5.3. So that's, I'm using the right version of, of, of PHP first. Now I'm gonna go browse to that Drupal 8 uh, code that I downloaded, right? So I'll just browse there. Uh, I wanted to create a new database for me. I'm just going to call it Drupal 8. You can be creative. Um, I also want to set up a subdomain so that this is the URL I'll go to for this particular site. And I'll go ahead and click that. And it actually does uh, the Drupal installation uh, for me, sets up the database and things. So now I just run through the regular Drupal installer and uh, I have Drupal 8 installed. Um, we'll run through and, and do the site information uh, real quickly, site name. Um, I need to just fill out, this is just a normal Drupal installation, it's just that the, the dev desktop went ahead and created the database for me and kind of got all that set up, which is handy. And yes, I will be particular and change it to the right city, not just the time zone. Uh, and then once I save this, um, here is my new Drupal 8 localhost website so that I can begin playing with what's going on in the Drupal 8 world and helping out with uh, making it better.